All right, so in this video, I'm gonna go over the button backlighting on a Game Boy Advance. Uh, this is by far the most requested video I've had. Um, so hopefully you can use this video to uh, go through the process with me and, and hopefully you can get the buttons backlit on yours. Um, I would suggest if you're gonna do it, watch the entire video first because I've I made a couple of mistakes along the way. So hopefully you can um, learn from my mistakes and get the buttons backlit without without as much trouble as I had. Um, but yeah, this is this is my first attempt at it. So it's not it's not going to be perfect even the end product. Um, it's not perfect on the inside. So I may do another video at some point that shows like a better way to do it. But for now. This is working, so um, I think I'm just gonna go with it. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully this will help. Okay, so I've already done a little bit of work on it um, before I actually started recording here. Um, I I trimmed out this shell for for the IPS screen, um, and then I cut that little section out there. Sorry, it's a little dirty. This is a used shell, but I liked the orange spice. Um, I cut out that section there, so I'm gonna try and point an LED at the D-pad through there. So that'll be, that's the first one that I'm doing here. So I've had this, I have this LED wired up um, and I was following an, some instructions on how to do a front light mod. So I'm using those same points. Um, you wanna use, if you have a 40 pin Game Boy Advance where it says 40 right there, then for the positive side, you wanna use this point right here. So it says Q6 and you use that point so there's this little Y thing here and you would use the one on the right there. You can see there's a little bit of extra solder on there that I've already tested. Um, and then for the negative you use this side of the power switch where it says on so that'll be that'll be what you use for positive and negative. So yeah let me get that um, let me get that put in to the shell and wired in and then we'll see where we're at with that. All right, so that's what I have so far. Clearly, I need to tape that up right there so that doesn't shine through so much. Um, I, it, it, I'm using these really tiny 1.5 millimeter LEDs. Um, so they're, I haven't used those as much, but I just put a 430 ohm resistor on it. Um, and I don't have the screen hooked up yet. I just wanted to test this light, but there you can see it is shining through. It's not super bright, but I don't know if that's just because of the LED or because I'm using um, these gray uh, membranes just because that's what I have. That sure they make white ones I could use that reflect more, but yeah, it is it is kind of working there. You can see the light coming through, so that's, that's progress at least. Um, let's see if you can see in there. You can see in there a little bit, but I just taped it in for now. Uh, but yeah, clearly I need to tape that down. I'm sure there's certain shells that exist that you don't have to tape up. Um, but yeah, let me uh, let me see what else I can what I can do here. That's honestly that is pretty dim, and it's kind of disappointing how dim that is. I might just need to use a different resistor. But um, yeah, let me uh, let me work on this a bit more, and I'll come back. Okay, so I think what may have been happening is since the since this d-pad raises up a little bit right here that it was mostly just hitting that the light was mostly just hitting that so as you can see here i put this will like this is just obviously a, a first time you know product and i'm just trying to see what i can do here so i just put down some foam to kind of raise up the led to shine over this little uh, ledge here that's on the d-pad so I'm gonna put that together and see if that works um, what I'll do if this seems to work what I'll do in the future is I'll just cut maybe halfway down or just a little bit down on this on this outer circle and then the LED can sort of maybe rest on that and then shine through better so, so um, you won't have to put down foam or something like that to raise up the LED a little bit so yeah let me uh, let me put that together and see if that's working all right, so that I think that helped a little bit. Um, it it does seem to be a bit brighter. I mean, it, it looks brighter on camera than in real life, to be honest. Um, and it's not shining through the shell as much as uh, as it was before. But uh, let me see if you can see in there. 
kind of see it, but it, I kind of had to push it in there a little bit more, but yeah, it's uh, sort of working. So yeah, we'll uh, I'll keep working on this and see see what I can do at this point. Three days later. All right, so uh, poking around here a little bit more, um, I found a, a power source that provides more voltage than uh, than this other spot. Well, I think it does anyways. Um, but I, it's hard for me to test with, with how this is set up because I have to have the batteries in and to do that I can really only test this side. But anyway, on this side, I found that this point right here, labeled S2, provides 4.8 volts. Um, all the other points I was testing, like all the other pins on here, were only providing 3.2. Um, directly from the battery, I was only getting 2.7. Um, so I, I think I'm going to try using S2 here and uh, see what I can get. I, I was trying to look up online some, some other spots that I might be able to tap power from, but that one might be the best um, right there, 4.8 volts. So yeah, I don't know if I can do it in series, like do the LEDs in series. I don't know if there's a spot I can find like 13 or 14 volts from, like I, like I found on the uh, Game Boy Color. Um, so yeah, I might have to do do maybe a couple of different ones in series, um, and that could work with just 4.8 volts, or I could try um, just parallel entirely, parallel the whole thing, which would not be ideal because that would be a lot more wires, but uh, and there's less space in here than there is on a Game Boy Color, so that obviously wouldn't be as good. But yeah, let me uh, poke around a bit more and see what I can find. So I was able to get it flipped over and get the batteries sort of in there, but it's, it, well, it was on. I think it just died. I think the batteries died. Either way, or I might have killed it when I was testing it there, but um, I was able to test this point I'm using up here is only 1.5 volts. So that's enough. I mean, for, for one LED, or if I want to do it in parallel, that could work. But yeah, I think I'm going to use that point on the other side that I was showing, that S2 point, um, and uh, that'll get me what I need there, but it'll get some more voltage that I need because I think this one was felt a little bit dim to be honest. So I think that was probably the voltage uh, that coming from that point. So yeah, that's uh, I, I guess good information to have. That point there was only getting 1.5 volts. So I think I'll use that one on the other side that gets 4.8. All right, so it turns out I did blow a fuse in the last one there. Um, but I was I, I was able to find the fuse. It was this F1 here. Um, let's see if I can point to it, and I'll show you that it that is the fuse. Because right now it's turned on. It's in the it's in the on position. I have the LED there. So I'm gonna bridge the connection with these tweezers. It's gonna be a little difficult, but and there you go. It's coming on. So I need to replace that fuse or just bridge it but I think I should probably get it replaced. A few moments later. All right, so I I just, I have this other Game Boy Advance, so I decided I'll just mod this one instead of that, instead of that orange one. Um, so yeah, I went ahead and I'm gonna use these pink LEDs instead, um, and that seems to be working. Uh, let's see, so yeah, these are only, th these are three millimeter LEDs as opposed to this uh, 1.5 millimeter, millimeter LEDs. Um, but it, it's fitting and I'm finding a spot right here for this one um, and I just cut out you can see there that that part I cut out on that one this one I just cut out the entire like third leg because it really only needs two to stabilize it um, and I'm gonna put one there and then I'll do like I did on that other uh, on the orange one and put one here but yeah I that I tried it out that point was working the s2 there with ground over here and it closed up and all the wires are just kind of pushing on the on the foam here so that should be fine um, so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna start wiring that up a, a little bit more here and see what we get all right so as I'm wiring this up with these three millimeter LEDs it is proving to be a little bit more complicated just because there is such limited space um, I'm putting I'm gonna do the, this one in parallel although maybe I should do it in series but I'm only getting five 4.8 volts from that, so it's not nearly as much as the other one. Um, and I that wasn't working before, like with the Game Boy Color when I was trying to put them in series using the five volt rail or point or whatever. Um, it wasn't working at all, so I don't. I, I guess I'm not even trying it on here. Um, 
But yeah, so showing what I did here, you can see, let me get something to point at it here. I have this, I have this resistor here. These are 430 ohm resistors. Um, the leg of this resistor here is just bending around the speaker grill and then attaching to the positive side of this LED. And then it's barely fitting in this section that I cut cut off from the B button. So, and then, so yeah, that's, it's barely fitting there with these three millimeter LEDs, but I think it'll work. Um, and then I have the, the negative one here and then I'm gonna, I have that one wired up with this one and I'm gonna attach these two red wires here to this one here and then to the ground here with these blue ones. And that'll just be for this side and maybe I'll do just a second section of them over here. I don't know exactly. I'm still working this out like, I was, like I've been saying. So over here, I don't know what I'll do. I think maybe, I think it makes a lot of sense to have one right here because that should fit just fine. And then maybe one just shining right here and it's not, or maybe I can get one. I don't know. It'll be, it, it maybe won't look as good as, or as um, symmetrical as the Game Boy Color on the D-pad, um, but we'll see what we can get away with here. And then start and select. I haven't even thought about that one that much. Let's see what we got there. So E, hmm, that'll be difficult. So I'll probably have to cut off that. Maybe I can't do that one. That'll be, that'll be interesting. I may have to just cut a whole lot out of there and then it'll, then it'll just kind of sit in there. Maybe just cut out this entire section right here and sit it in there. But we'll see. I don't know at this point. I mean, you'll see pretty soon, I guess, but yeah. All right, I got these ones glued in. Um, yeah, as you can see from earlier, it's pretty tight in there, but it is glued in and it's all put in there. Um, and I routed a few of the wires through that little area there and then they're coming up here and I went ahead and just put them both directly onto there um, just it, it was easier because otherwise I was gonna have to tape up a bunch of stuff but um, yeah those are both in there and it, it should be working so yeah I just figured I'd show how that's how that's showing in there I went ahead and uh, on this one the, the difference a, a difference I should say between this and the Game Boy Color is I put the resistors on this side of the LED, like instead of putting it on this end of the wire, I put it on this end. So the resistors are gonna be like in the front face of it instead of like in the back area, just cause there's, a, there, I guess there's enough room in here. It seems to be closing up anyways. So yeah, that's one difference I noticed that I guess I would point out there, so yeah. All right, so this is one of the most like messy mods I've done. Um, and it's just like, there's so many, it, there's just not a whole lot of space to work with in here. Like just trying to maneuver within here, within this little section makes it difficult. But either way, as you can see, I have an LED here and it's here, I'll take this off here. So as you can see, I have an LED here pointing in and I cut out um, that little section right here. I cut that out, that helps. Um, and I cut it out on that side too. And then over here, I went ahead and just cut out that whole little section on the start and select. Um, I haven't tested that yet, so we'll see what that looks like. I did I did actually go ahead and test this and that, that then, I, then I realized I needed to tape that up under there because it was shining through. So there's some electrical tape under there. Um, but yeah, I cut that out, just that whole little section, that peg right there, and then there's that right there. And that should shine through, I think. We'll see. We'll see what happens, but yeah, I'm actually gonna go ahead and use, um, which point? Is it? I think it's that point right there on Q6. That one right there, I already put a little bit of solder on there, and then that is ground. So that's positive and that's ground. Um, and that was working a minute ago. Like I had the two LEDs on there, um, and then the two on this side using the other side of it. So I'm using several, I'm using, well, I guess just two different points here uh for for soldering but let me put all this together and see see what we get um with with all these lights in here all right so i got that um all this side wired up 
um, like I was showing you there, it's on that Q6 one, or it's right next to it. I don't know if that's the actual one that it is, but it's right next to that where it says Q6 there. And then the uh, negative side goes over here. Um, and then I got all that wired up. And these are just, the, these red wires here are just the ones for the IPS screen for the brightness control. So you, if you have that, then, then you know about that. But otherwise, you don't really have to worry about that. Um, so yeah, that's that's how I have those wired up, and the the ones on this side are wired up on that other side on that S2 one, which I realize you probably don't actually need to do just S2 because like like I was saying, I'm only getting one pipe 1.5 volts from this one, and it seems to be bright enough over here. Well, we'll see. I guess I'm about to turn it back on, um, and on that S2 one, pin over there, I was getting five volts. Um, and then, but on all the other pins under here, I was getting like 3.2 volts. So that's, that's at least double this. So it should be enough either way. But yeah, let me put the back on and turn it on and see what we get. All right. So yeah, as you can see there, that is actually is working pretty well with the, uh, with the start and select where that is. That's, it is, it, you can kind of see it shining through there, but it really shows up on camera more than in real life, honestly. Um, but yeah, we got, got all that lit up. Um, so yeah, I guess those positions that I was using seem to be working. Um, so let me put the sides back on and make sure everything's still fitting in that spot. Now oh, my batteries are going dead. Well, that's a good sign, I guess, that even at a slightly lower voltage, that'll still keep working. But I have the, the rechargeable battery pack that I'll put in there. Um, should keep the, the voltage up, so I won't really have to deal with it. Uh, but anyway, yeah, let me put this, uh, finish putting everything back together on here, make sure it's all still fitting and working, and then I'll kind of be right back. All right, so yeah, I was able to get everything put back together. I got um, all the sides put back on, as you can see there. Um, I was just, I'm just, I'm just using the black buttons for the, for the triggers and the sides, because that way no light's going to leak out. I did have um, the clear sides and everything, but I think this is going to look better. Um, I could do the triggers and everything, but I think I just wanted to get like the front face lit up because I think that would look best for what, what I want to do anyways. So yeah, that should be it. Um, if you have any questions about it, just leave a comment and I'll try and help you out. But yeah, if you have any questions or uh, any recommendations or any advice, I guess, really on how to, how to make this work better, um, that would be greatly appreciated. So Otherwise, uh, if you like this kind of stuff, go and subscribe. I'm trying to make more stuff like this. Like I have another uh, GameCube mod that I'm going to try soon. So uh, yeah, keep an eye out for that kind of stuff. Anyway, have a good day.